you guys. Yesterday I had four. It was November 14th, 2022. And I'm charged. Please came and tried to arrest me for assault against a man who assaulted me. Not only did he assault me, but also did something to my daughter, you guys. And then the police allowed him and a group of people to have my daughter taken away. And they invented like a whole file that like I'm a degenerate, that I'm abusing people, that I'm a street person and everything you guys, but I had a totally normal life. I had a daughter, I had a business, I worked hard, I never been a criminal, and on paper they put, so I'm charged with assault against a police officer, assault against a man that they claim that is my father, who really, I don't know him. He's dangerous and creepy, and he hurt my daughter, and I have proof. So then, a bunch of people that were supposed to be in the Freedom Friday movement who I was told would help me, you guys, because when you see them online, you see them at all these meetings acting as if they're in church, but when they get a hold of people's court papers, then they go online and smear people. But I had a court date that I tried four times to change, you guys, because I have environmental illness, and in the fall, it gets really painful. So that's my most painful time of the year, is when winter is changing. When summer is changing to winter, or to fall. So yesterday was a really cold day, and I was really sick. So, months and months ago, a lawyer from Legal Aid went and did my court date without my permission. Now, this is multiple lawyers, Alicia Frank and Brown, Linda Trippett, Mary, Sue Young, Krista Forbes. And now, Tony Amond, they're all government child protection workers and working in the government. And I did not want any of those lawyers. I was forced, and if I wouldn't use them, they went and did my court anyway. So I get really sick when the temperature goes too cold, too humid. And everybody who has this illness, and that's very common that she here in Halifax. So I tried. My original court date was supposed to be in April. I got I contacted the court and they told me somebody came in. They told me, according to their paperwork, I came into the court and did a plea. But I didn't, you guys. The day before this was done, that boy called me and said he wasn't doing my court. And he called me on a day that I was super duper sick. It was 97% humidity. And I was extremely ill. Anyways, 
I tried four times to change the day. And they told me at the court, I called a few days beforehand and told them I was really sick. I told them this is my fourth time trying to change. And she said, you can't change it. You have to come in here. And if you don't come to the court, a warrant is being issued for your arrest. Well, I had to get up at something like five in the morning to travel to the court. I got there, I tried to change the date again. You could clearly hear and see that I am sick. But they made me wait. Almost a full day, you guys, my court wasn't until 1 or 30. They still said I had to be there. When I got into the court, everybody else had already been informed that the court date was changed except for me. So I wouldn't have been arrested. The funny thing is that I did a card meeting and told me the same thing. Don't even bother to go in. So I did go in and you guys, I ended up really super sick now. I am super duper duper sick. I'm in a lot of pain. Anyways, you guys. They gave me disclosure, which I'm not going to open and I'm not going to let her open it either. And the reason being, I don't care if we need to open that for the court date. The police have been severely psychologically abusing me. They created about a 150 page document of extreme abuse. And what I mean by abuse is that every time in my life that I have been in danger or had called the police, they changed that to me being the one that was being called upon. I reported a man for abuse of me, and it's a group of people that are abusing people. That is very dangerous, you guys. There's lots of people that know about this group. And in my court, my police file, which I didn't even know they were keeping a file on me because I have no criminal records. I had to have checks for my work every two years. They changed my last name to that person's last name. So I'm just not going to participate in this any longer. And I think the court thought that. I think they thought that I was going to do it in common law because we're tracking everything I do, all my videos and everything I do online. Plus they get People like Jeremy McKenzie, Morgan and Guptel, there's a lot of like people that are pretending to be freedom fighters and working for the people here when they're not. People have been trying to report them. And now they be coming after me. But that's okay, you guys. So they gave me two dates. And you guys, it's just disgusting to go to the court. And that's the original date it was supposed to be. They changed it to April 11. And these animal cops should have already dropped these charges. It's freaking disgusting, you guys. For police to show up at your house and arrest you. 
for trying to have the person like this person put me through 56 years of abuse you guys and many many other people but he got to charge me so <laughs> the situation is pretty disgusting and I don't want to lose the literal aid lawyer because this is like everybody makes money from this you guys there was Yesterday, they had two lawyers on their side. There was a sheriff. So there's like three police officers, sheriff, clerks. Then there's the clerk that takes the typing. Then there's the judge. They're all making money from this. At my expense, you guys. At my daughter's expense. I have a daughter that they took. The man that was abusing her got to charge us, but we got the abuse. So, it's been pretty hard on me because I'm really sick. I'm not going to open these envelopes ever. In here is 911 tape. I don't know how police and dirt can be so fucking disgusting, you guys. I really don't, but for the sake of my own health, I'm not opening those, this whatever's in here, and I don't care what disclosure it is. And I'm not allowing a lawyer, and for the same reason, I'm not allowing police to abuse me any longer and they are raping and torturing a little girl they have my daughter she is being sexually abused and tortured you guys and she kids can't speak up for themselves even if you put her in a room with 10 people she's never going to be able to speak about this because that's the type of mind control programs and the programs they run it on her they had her since she's over two years it's disgusting that no people have come forward and it's disgusting it's just unreal the Dartmouth police are allowed to abuse people to this degree you guys they abused me so bad that I ended up homeless. I've been homeless for almost three years now. And people like Morgan Ray Guptel and so-called Freedom Fighters go online encouraging people to hurt me and not help me in any kind of way. So I did get my court adjourned, but I'm so angry that I went there. It is the cruelest thing in the world for them to tell me that if I didn't show up, I was being arrested when they already knew that wasn't the truth, you guys. This is how disgusting our legal system is here in Canada that they would make a sick elderly woman take her last money travel to me all day of traveling to get the Dartmouth court and all day of traveling like it was like a 14 hour day and I was so sick they the minute I started speaking they knew I was sick the first thing are you okay man well of course I'm not okay it's so disgusting and then their lawyer gets up and says well we didn't realize mrs stevens was going to be here she's been calling in saying she's sick well i was there because she threatened me and told me if i wasn't there i was being a warrant was being issued for me but they knew days and days and days and days ago this is how evil and abusive this system is 
and every single person that was in the court this day is being paid big bucks and it got an adjournment it was supposed to be four hour day all those people got paid for the rest of the day big money and I spent the last of my food and you got I live outside for people that they're thinking that there's some sort of housing help for us here. You're out to lunch. I live outside. It's going my third winter. There's nowhere to get food. There's nowhere to get warm blankets. I'll show you. If you look at my videos, You'll see how hard it's been for me to get any sort of help. During the hurricane, I was at a Red Cross Center and they wouldn't even let me in the building. They gave me help, but they made me stay outside in the parking lot. So, What's going on here is really sick, you guys. And a lot of it, of the views that I'm getting, came directly from people claiming to be freedom fighters here in the East. That, holy cow, they didn't just abuse me. I know a lady by the name of Kim Dickinson, Dixon from Mirror Machine who runs with you guys, and she claims she didn't start abusing me till I know. Uh-uh. Not the truth. Morgan make up to help. And people say, well, what? why are you mad that they didn't help you with your court? Because that's what they were going to the rallies and telling people, you guys. They were going to rallies with microphones and setting up the stages and encouraging people to come forward. So anyways, I'm very, very upset about the disgustingness of this and that I didn't listen to my gut instinct and refuse to go with God. So the judge made it clear to me, none of this is to go online and I made it clear to him. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> I'll go to jail if it what it takes. But I'm not opening that letter and I'm not letting any lawyer open those letters. It's as plain and simple as that. And that's for the sake of my own health. Because as far as I'm concerned, Durham police are trying to kill me. They don't give a shit. And this what they are doing is illegal, you guys. It's illegal no matter where you live to abuse people to the degree that they lose their family, they lose their job, they lose their health. It's straight up hardcore abuse. And it's sick.